starters. Know the main parts and what they do. Armature, it spins and creates a magnetic field. Commutator, brushes, and starter drive. What does a commutator do? What do warm brushes do to resistance and amperage draw? Here we have a starter mounted solenoid. Know that in some vehicles, the solenoid is mounted near the battery. Some vehicles don't use a solenoid, they use a relay instead. And some vehicles use both a relay and a solenoid. The typical starter with the mounted solenoid has three terminals. B plus, S terminal, and M terminal. B plus connects to battery positive. S terminal connects to the ignition switch. And M terminal connects to the motor. Since M terminal is the last connection before the load, it is a great place to test for a voltage drop when troubleshooting the circuit. Know that a mounted solenoid has pull-in and hold-in windings. These can draw up to 50 amps to create a magnetic field to pull the plunger in. Once that is accomplished, only the hold-in winding is energized. How do you test the windings? Set your digital multimeter to read ohms. One of the leads goes to the S terminal. The other connects to the M terminal. You should read very low resistance. Point four, we are testing the pull-in winding. To test the holding winding, remove the lead that's on the M terminal and connect it to the case. We should also get very low resistance. Point five. Know how to perform the starter current draw test using a VAT40 or a similar tool. I'm using an amp clamp connected to a digital multimeter. The U-scope will read battery voltage. The amp clamp is going to be clamped around all negative battery cables. Its scale is set to read 1 millivolt equals 1 amp on the DC volt scale. If it has an arrow, make sure the arrow faces towards the starter. The battery has been verified as good beforehand. The U-scope is reading about 12.6 volts. That yellow trigger line is set at 9.6 volts. When we crank, we want that reading to stay above 9.6 volts. At this point, the amp clamp has been connected and zeroed out. The fuel pump relay has been removed as a precaution to prevent the vehicle from starting. This here is a fancy remote starter that connects to the starter motor relay. The test is set up. I'll crank for about 10 seconds. The results are in. We saw about 137 amps of draw and the battery remained above 9.6 volts. In general, when cranking, do not crank for more than 15 seconds and wait two minutes for the starter motor to cool before cranking again. For the test, I'm memorizing the following numbers. Between 130 and 200 amps is what's considered normal draw. But know that some starters can draw up to 400 amps. Service information is a key there. Also, starters rotate at about 200 to 250 RPMs. What type of starter draws the least amount of amps? What if the current draw test was below specification? According to Ohm's law, when amperage drops, resistance goes up. Low amp draw could be the result of unwanted resistance in the circuit. Know how to voltage drop test the circuit. In this example, we'll voltage drop test the battery cable that connects to the starter solenoid. 
connect your digital multimeter positive lead to positive battery terminal post. Negative lead goes to the starter solenoid B plus terminal. The fuel relay is still off and the remote starter is still connected. Crank the engine. We're getting about 0.26 voltage drop. For the test, I'm remembering that cables, switches, and connections should drop less than 0.2 volts. What if the current draw test was above specification? According to Ohm's law, amperage increases when resistance decreases. Shorted field windings lower the resistance. So does a shorted armature or a grounded armature. What if the current draw test results are at specification, but the engine still does not start? Know that engine mechanical issues can cause a no start. In this case, turn over the engine manually by turning the crankshaft bolt. This verifies that the engine can be turned over. Engine timing issues can cause a starter to crank slowly. Ignition problems or fuel problems can cause the starter to crank for an extended period of time. On a final note, know the different types of starter motor designs. These are a direct drive unit, a gear reduction unit, positive engagement, and a permanent magnet starter motor. The permanent magnet starter also uses gear reduction. The field coils are replaced by permanent magnets. Which of these is used by modern combustion engine vehicles? And that covers the meat and potatoes of what you should know regarding starters for the ASC A6. There wasn't much talk about hybrid vehicles and the integrated starter generator. Tune in for video number three, which will cover generators, aka alternators.